people welcome back to the overwhelmed woman i'm emma and um if the idea of writing a will fills you with dread then you're not on your own um writing wills are horrible for three main reasons firstly they connect you to your own mortality and nobody wants to think about that um secondly they sometimes cause you to have to really analyse your friendships and your relationships, especially if you've got children and you're thinking about who their guardians would be, God forbid, if anything happened to you, because the people that you love and are closest to, they may not actually share the same values as the values you have in regards to how you want your children to be raised. So all of that can create a lot of emotional clutter. Um, but the big thing as well with writing your last will and testament is it tells a lot about your connection to clutter now if you take all the the, the general stuff like what happened if anything happened to you and your house had to be sold who would that get divvied up to all of that kind of stuff i'm talking about all the ins and outs all those little things that have been part of your life that you may then start thinking well i want to leave you know my sister this necklace and i want to leave my mom this book that i loved and all of that stuff but when i read mine which literally reads like something off war and peace i was absolutely horrified because it took me right back to a place where my whole life was surrounded by emotional and physical stuff and what horrified me the most about it was that i had transferred all of that onto the people i love when i'm gone when it comes to thinking about your stuff we all know, don't we, that when we get to the end of this life, the only thing that is going to matter, and I've said it time and time again, is the memories you create for those loved ones that you leave behind. Not the stuff that you own, but I appreciate it's really hard if you have got a house full of belongings or a lot of expensive items. But it really resonated with me, the whole thing about who gets what, because when I lost my nanny, the only thing I kept was this, and it's a little bottle of Constant Carol Diamond Gloss, back in the day um if you're an 80s girl that um my nanny owned and she used to have chipped nail polish whenever she painted her nails within seconds actually and of all of the beautiful things that my nanny owned that's the thing that i the only thing actually that meant anything to me um other than having her back in my life um so look i guess when it comes to writing your will be very clear about the choices you're making in that you're not making choices based on your assumption of what someone else will want because for example in my will it listed pretty much every single item in the house that we've now downsized from and that's going to create so much stress for the people around us if anything happened to me and my husband tomorrow some poor sod in my family would have had to have found storage for those items and made provisions for all of that stuff and it could well be that at the point my daughter actually revisited all of those things we'd left her because they meant so much they might not mean anything to her look this is quite a quick one um and it comes in the whole you know she ra and he-man vein of thought with a little moral story at the end of it but um don't pass your stuff on to other people because in doing that you just create emotional and physical clutter for them and a lot of guilt because you know if you leave something that you think is really special to that person and it isn't they might feel that they can never let that go and it might actually really weigh heavily on them um, and that happened to me for years when my mom and dad split up because I got a lot of stuff that was theirs and I felt that I could never let go of it and none of it was stuff that I was ever going to put in my house and actually for me when I look back on that stuff all it did was remind me of times that I didn't want to remember because it was that loss that I just wanted to move on from so it just connected me to a time that made me sad so um just think about that when you're writing your will but what i will say to you is once you've done it honestly as sad and awful as it is it will free you more than you can imagine so i'm going to link a few videos in here of 
ideas to help you on your way. Obviously, always seek legal help, especially when it comes to creating wills where there's children from different relationships and all that kind of stuff, siblings, multiple houses, it's a nightmare, but it doesn't have to be. And um, I will be replacing my war and peace version with a one sheet that has who I want to be the legal guardian of my daughter, who I want main things like my house to go to and um, a couple of little belongings that I would like people to have on the strict proviso that they then choose to do with them whatever they want. And if that means they send them to the charity shop the very next day, fine. And it's not for me to put stress on the people that I love after I'm gone. So anyway, happy stories. <laughs> Oh, oh, but it is one of those things that completely overwhelms you and once you've sorted it out and you've done it in the kind of the best way possible you will feel so much better than you did so take care beautiful people and remember if you are overwhelmed you're not alone we're all overwhelmed together and we all deserve to lead a clutter-free life and until next time massive love and now I'm going to go and get a cup of tea